Pokemon, so welcome back to the Pokemon career mode. Yes, the Pokemon career mode, the career mode that wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. Now, as you might have noticed, we're going with a little bit of a different format. We're getting into the game, getting into the meat of the career mode faster. Less than my ugly mug on the screen. I hopefully you guys do appreciate it. As you can see here in the calendar, we have three matches. We can possibly get our revenge up against freaking Bordeaux, who just did us in dirty early in this career mode, as well as Crystal Palace. We are right here, and guys. Guys, this is the episode, yes it is, I'll be telling you the details on how you, you my friend, can get your hands on an Elganto Game Catcher HD, that'll be at the end of the video, so please stick around till the very end, you'll learn the details of that, but enough of the giveaway, blugga blugga, we are in it to win it, you can see our squad right here up against Crystal Palace, not all the best, but they aren't starting their best roster either, you saw it right there, we're having limited amount of rest in between these games, so that is where the big man Centurion, I'm counting on you Centurion, to go ahead and get me a result in here. As you see, good little passing around. We were looking dangerous. Nori going ahead and sneaking in, making his one of his uh, good appearances. Centurion now cuts inside, does two defenders, lays it off beautifully right there, but we cannot find our finishing boots. Rah. Great position, great little stuff right there, but we look the more dangerous one now. Barilla into it. Neto gets it. Last, great last dish effort from McCarthy right there. And we have ourselves a corner. It is flicked up. But David Barraz, oh my goodness, goes ahead and somehow finds a way. His first react is somehow finds a way through the trees. Needles, oh my god, threads the needle in between three or four legs over there. And look at this, just we are super lucky. Gets it right underneath the butt of number 27 for Crystal Palace. And we go ahead and get ourselves a lead at Selhurst Park. Now the Korean onto the ball, flicks it over the top, and woo! Almost sneaking in right above the Brazilian Vandersar, but ever vigilant as we nurture. We lovingly nurture this one goal lead. And hopefully it'll grow into a larger lead in the second half, but not the best right there. But we are able to scramble away at the last second. And this time, could we possibly get something away from here? But no, it was carried away. Great defending, but oh my god, look at this. Just so many chances up against McCarthy. And it is very notable to say that freaking, for some reason... Look at this, look at this amazing goal by the way, doesn't it take away from Nori, scoring his first goal for man, wait not Manchester United, what am I talking about, Barcelona, aka the Squirtle Squad, and beautiful stuff, cut it inside, who was that? I can't even remember, but great, great, beautiful, beautiful stuff right there, and Nori getting onto it, but we were able to go ahead and get this result because freaking Crystal Palace was starting over half of the reserves in this game. It was very, very disappointing when I went ahead and looked at who they were starting, but I can't, <laughs> I cannot control who they start, and I'm not gonna complain because we weren't starting our first year, but David Braz is going ahead, winning that ball, and he's gonna start the counterattack. We'll look at this, Barola over to Jovino. Jovino onto the middle, gets it over to Nori, passes it back to Amarty, to Longu. What does he go? He passes it to Nori, and Nori! Amazing, amazing build-up play. I know that was a long extended clip, but I just wanted to show you how far I've come in FIFA freaking 16, man. I could barely pass the ball. Uh, uh, you know, I was so dumb. I was so useless in this game a month ago, and now I finally figured it out. And beautiful team goal. Everyone, almost pretty much everybody on the team touching the ball at least once in that build-up. Oh. That's why they call it the beautiful game. That is a beautiful score line, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0. Alright, guys, so we get our revenge on freaking Crystal Palace, and we are gonna get three pulls out of this roster. But, to be honest, they didn't really start their best players in that game, so. Uh, my expectations aren't that really high. If we can get a Yannick Velocity, though, that would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet, so we're gonna go ahead and get three pulls. Out of the tall grass. Let's get let's get a deep pull. Let's get a deep pull. This one. This will be the final one. And you know what? I've been doing the nip and the hat luck all last episode, and it was not working out. So I'm just gonna go. No luck. No luck. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play cool. Like I don't even. I don't care. I don't care who this is. This could be anybody. This could be Joe Ledley. Joe Ledley. Well balanced stats. A man who believes in no shave November. A nice little flexible midfielder. Ledley has a magnificent beard, by the way. By that merits, it's already a win out of these three pulls. Let's go ahead and get feeling the right one. Feeling the right one. It already has a little bit in the hat light, but we're gonna continue on. Like I don't care. I don't care, man. You can be, you can be 
anybody. I don't care who you are. You are much. Jordan much. Well balanced stats with the ability to grow. Much. Get it? Cause it's his it's his this is Dane. Ellie. Alright, once again, I mean you can't be all too butthurt about it. He's a decent, decent center mid cam. We're gonna go ahead and add him with Joe Ledley over here and the final one. Oh, my resolve. My resolve. You know what? I'm still not gonna care. I don't care. I don't care who I get. I don't care who I get. You are Lee Chung Young. Lee Chung Young. Well balanced stats with decent stamina and skill moves. He's. He's okay. Nah, our poor pull luck continues, guys. These three guys are the ones that we pulled, and you guys are going to be voting in the description and on the doobity doos. I'm going to leave a straw poll. You guys will vote, see which one of these that we'll be adding to the short list and possibly bring in as the winter window is quickly approaching, lads. It is coming, it is coming. And, guys, a little bit of a teaser. As we go up against Porto right here, we are going to be facing Real freaking Madrid in the next episode. If that doesn't get you hype, I don't know what will. Gary, we're coming for you as we are starting our first teamers. As you can see, all the big names out there, Amarte and Bolo, Gabi Gol, the other Gabi Gol, and Lucas Lima and Nabil Fakur as we face off against Bordeaux, who did us dirty earlier this year, and they tried very early on to do us dirty again. Great volley right there, but uh, the Brazilian banners are ever vigilant, able to parry that away, and now on the header, can we get something? No! Oh, Kinesis going ahead and towering over Zuma right there. Easily could have been 2 0 down early on. And now another amazing opportunity by Vandersar able to go ahead and sneak it away. It wasn't until the verge of halftime they were able to get any sort of attacking. And look at this! Just. How? Ref! Ref! How is that not a blatant red? And zero offensive highlights. It was looking like a horror show. It was looking like a replay of what happened last time we played Bordeaux, but then Gabrielle getting inside and we. It was just looking like it was not our day. I was I was gushing over myself. I didn't say humble. I was saying how great we've been playing. And then look at all of this off of the crossbar. And once again, nothing. Oh, my God. Maybe it was just going to be one of those days. 67 minutes. Then Vilsenko looking for redemption out of all the guys to make a play in this freaking game. I would not think it would be Vilsenko. The man who gave up two goals in a prior beating goes ahead. Look at the streak! Just absolutely takes his way through two defenders. He was like, I will not be denied! I will find the noggin of the Squirtle! And I will assist! And John Aubrey and Bolo finally coming on because the man has just been kind of a disappointment. Maybe he's heard me. And then look at this great link up play. Lucas Lima holding up a play, leaving it off to Nabil Fakir who fought. Oh, it right! What else? Every time I compliment a person in this career mode, they go ahead and let me down. And this this might be the miss of the century. John O'Brien, you've had so many misses. But right in front of that, can't even hit the front. And we're going to go ahead and have to protect the boys right here. We had um, not the most comfortable lead in 1-0, but we could extend it right here. Beautiful time pass. Great little back heel. And Nabil Fakir is once again denied. Freaking keeper for Bordeaux. Uh, we could have gotten a little bit more, but look at that. Nine shots, six shots on target. Absolute domination of Bordeaux. I'll go ahead and I will take it. All right, I want to win up against Bordeaux. Not the smashing that I wanted to get on them, but it is freaking the episode of Revenge. And that means we get one pull out of this roster. And this Bordeaux roster is actually rather talented. I think we got about a 40% chance at getting someone halfway decent with 80 plus potential. Last time I didn't care, and that didn't work out. So I care, I care, I care. I care, baby. I care, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, be, be the one. Be the one that that I want to take home. Be the one. Be the one you are. Kvivive Crivelli. Enzo Crivelli. A man so mediocre. He doesn't even have a face. Damn, man, like, our luck... Fuck! <laughs> our luck, man, our pull luck has been so shit over the past two episodes. Oh, God. Yeah, 
It uh, literally left me scratch my head how bad our luck pulls have been. But can't get down, guys. We gotta keep on moving on. We gotta keep on training. Oh, Dan Sabayos, almost up to a 67. I see you. I see you, Danny. I see you as we go up against Chen Sports' dad's team, Mainz. And look at the league table right here. We sit atop of first, and we are just cruising it. And guys, guest appearance featuring Flickify. I told you that Flick would be in this freaking episode. Wait, I didn't tell you, but. Yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, I didn't even know. Flick with the guest appearance right there. As we are starting most of our first teamers of Asenko getting another start after that magnificent performance up against Mines, and hopefully he can be inspirational in this one. All the other players stay the same from our last Bordeaux tie. And what can we do up against the German side right here? A very talented German side. Hopefully we can go ahead and grab ourselves a good Poxy Mons right here. Gabrielle getting inside, and that would be the highlight early on for us offensively. Getting into good positions is the name of the game. Another almost, oh, oh my god, almost identical attack that time. And you know what I'm looking for, that back cut right here. And three times Gabrielle getting into his, oh man, he must be sexually frustrated right now. And we get it across. And the first goal of this game would be Lucas Lima. He's been quiet the past couple games, but I've been loving him in that camp position. And I went for that triple tap, and that triple tap always causes danger balls right there. It's too much power, and it is an own goal by Bungert over there. What a name, what a German name that is. And we're going to go ahead and take this lead right here. But almost right off a kickoff, he is in Nidobodakaker, or whatever his super long German name is. Gets taken down in the box and we give up a pen. And we were lucky to escape without a red card. Vilsenko! Yeah, it's the commenter's curse, man. Every time I compliment a person, they go ahead and they do something like that. And I was holding straight up! Vandersar! How did you not save that? Oh my dearie dears of days, how did you not save that? In an odd, freaky game, guys. A really weird game. We are in it. Uh, we are in one. I will say that for this one. And now Gabrielle for the third time. Oh, the other Gabrielle at that time. Getting in on that one, but I can't. And look at this. I was... If I was not to succeed, I was going to try, try again. Looking at Marquinhos across. Slots it back to no Bill Barker. You do it, Barker. Oh, get Barker. Oh, get absolutely Barker. Mines, oh my goody goodness, well done. The cutback pass is a well, a well, and alive in this freaking career mode right here. Good little stuff. And Nabil Fakir getting onto the preferred left foot of his. I just have so many freaking left footed strikers on this team. It kind of boggles the mind that we really don't have all that many people to play out on the right side. And now we have to keep on going on. Can I find myself a second going? For the same thing as I did last time, the cutback pass is deadly in this game, but Amarte is finishing like a central defensive midfielder as we bring in some new boys. Nuri Sabayos into the game now. Can the youngins go ahead and make an influence, make an impact on this game? But ooh, Hodobia going ahead and puncturing a hole in that freaking goalpost right there. Jeez Louise, but then Centurion with the stamina, with the speed, all for days and should have gone for goal. Oh, got a little bit too sweaty right there. I thought we were going to go ahead and get ourselves another one, but we will go ahead and take that. We only get one pull, but that is enough, boys. We get past Mines, and we're playing well. Can't ask for much more. All right, a 2-1 win up against Mines, and guys, we are freaking do Please, we get one pull out of this in Mines. The squad that they started was okay. I mean, not spectacular, but a lot of usable players in there. I would like, you know, Karius, the, the top, probably my topic, but we're going to see how it goes. But, I mean, we get a shit pull. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's get knit luck. We're going to get snot luck. We're going to get dried blood luck. We're going to get semen luck. All right. Come on, semen luck. Give it me. Oh. Give me the mother load! You are freaking Clemens. Christian Clemens. He's got decent pace, but mediocre everywhere else, and it's it's bleh. I mean, all these pulls have been bleh, and I'm just frustrated. And I'm sorry, but uh, sorry for ranting. But you know what? I have to rant. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to do it. I'm gonna have to rant. I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to listen to me. But I'm going. And I'm sorry. But well, here we go. Our freaking back luck has been so shit! God, like even, even he's not bad, but just one 80 potential player, just one freaking 80 potential player! This guy's gonna unload, like we can't even get until next year! We have amazing players that we're already on loan for next year. This is... What the fuck?
And in Who's That Pokemon, it was in for Millic. A lot of you guys got to put the first three to get it where this man once again, four times in a row. And first overall, Eric freaking Aguilar, my Filipino brother, well done. The other two to get it was this man, Ryan Mooney. And returning to the showcase is I'm Hacked. And guys, I'm going to be switching it up. I thought it's unfair that, you know, I kind of only showcase the three people that get it. So, in the showcase from here on out, I'm going to be displaying a couple more comments. You know, ones that I think are kind of noteworthy that kind of made me either giggle or that were helpful. So, I'm going to go ahead and showcase you guys right here. Every one of you guys, enjoy the showcase. And guys, as a thank you to all of you amazing subs, I am giving away this. This is the old girl, the old Elgato Game Catcher HD that... I've been using this whole entire time, it's served me well, but I have upgraded thanks to you guys and all the funds that you guys have brought me through the AdSense, so I'm gonna give this to one of you guys, hopefully one of you guys could be the next Channing Sports, the next freaking MGH, I wanna give that to you guys. So guys, if you wanna go ahead and win this Elgato, this is what you gotta do. One, you have to like and subscribe to the channel, I mean, come on. Wow, there's a really big mower outside. Two, what you need to do is you gotta go back to episode one and tell me what did Gary Oak say in that episode? He has only one sentence. In three? You go ahead, you take that quote, and you tweet at B- and you'll be entered to go ahead and win yourself a Game Capture HD from Elgato. And yeah, that's all it takes to go ahead and enter, and in one week's time, I'll be pulling one of your names out of the tall grass. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode of the Pokemon Crown. If you guys enjoy, I most humbly suggest that you go ahead and rock smash that like button. See, my name's B-. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself. Stay humble. Be weird. Who's that Pokemon?